Blood transfusions are a common medical procedure. They involve receiving blood from a donor. This blood is given through an intravenous line. The IV line is a small tube inserted into a vein, usually in the arm. Through this lifeline, donated blood travels directly into the recipient's bloodstream. This procedure is a cornerstone of modern medicine. It's used in a wide array of medical situations. From surgeries to emergencies, blood transfusions can be the difference between life and death. The process is generally safe and well tolerated by most patients. Blood transfusions are essential for various reasons. They are often needed after severe blood loss. This can occur due to accidents, surgeries, or childbirth complications. Certain illnesses also necessitate transfusions. For instance, people with anemia may require transfusions. Anemia is a condition where the body doesn't have enough red blood cells. Cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy might also need transfusions. Chemotherapy can suppress the bone marrow's ability to produce blood cells. Blood is not a uniform fluid but rather a complex mixture of cells and plasma. Each component plays a vital role in maintaining the body's health. Red blood cells are the transporters carrying oxygen throughout the body. White blood cells act as the body's defense system, fighting off infections. Platelets are crucial for clotting, preventing excessive bleeding. Plasma, the liquid component of blood, carries these cells and other essential nutrients. Understanding these components is crucial, as specific situations might require transfusions of particular blood components. Section 4. Safety and Prevalence of Blood Transfusions Blood transfusions are generally very safe. Rigorous screening processes are in place to ensure the donated blood is free from infections. Before a transfusion, the recipient's blood is carefully matched to the donor's blood type. This minimizes the risk of adverse reactions. Millions of blood transfusions are performed each year, saving countless lives. While there are inherent risks, like with any medical procedure, serious complications are rare. Thanks to advancements in blood banking and transfusion medicine, this procedure has become increasingly safe and effective. Section 5. The Quest for Artificial Blood – A Future Possibility While human blood transfusions remain the gold standard, Researchers are actively exploring alternatives. The quest for artificial blood is driven by several factors. These include the constant need for blood donations and the potential risks associated with transfusions. Developing a safe and effective blood substitute would be a revolutionary breakthrough. It would address blood shortages and potentially offer advantages over human blood. However, despite promising research, a viable artificial blood substitute has yet to be developed for widespread use. Section 6. Post-transfusion care, monitoring for a smooth recovery. After a transfusion, patients are closely monitored for any adverse reactions. This includes checking vital signs like blood pressure, heart rate, and temperature. Medical professionals also look for signs of allergic reactions, such as rashes, itching, or difficulty breathing. Patients are advised to report any unusual symptoms immediately. These might include chills, fever, chest pain, or back pain. While most transfusions proceed without complications, vigilance is key to ensuring a smooth recovery. Section 7. Multiple transfusions addressing significant blood loss. In cases of severe blood loss, multiple transfusions might be necessary. This is particularly true for situations like major trauma, organ transplantation, or complex surgeries. The number of transfusions required depends on the extent of blood loss and the body's response. While multiple transfusions can be life-saving, they also come with additional risks. These include iron overload, transfusion-related lung injury, and increased susceptibility to infections. Doctors carefully weigh the benefits and risks before administering multiple transfusions.